There are four main aims to this video to show you how to put text into InDesign, images, colored shapes, and then overlay them all. Begin by clicking on New Document, typing in four pages, and then selecting A5, one of the presets there. Don't worry about the margins down the bottom there, just accept them at 12.7 millimeters or half an inch. And there you have your opening page. Doesn't look too dissimilar to Word at this stage, but it functions differently. That's the Windows palette, or that's the Pages palette. Up there in that little window, you can see the four pages. You can click on that if you want to see it. Uh, over on the left, we've got the toolbox, which you can click and drag near the top. It looks like the one on Photoshop. I'm clicking on the Type tool first up. I'm going to click and drag to create a text box. Within the margin, that purple rectangle is the margins. Once you've clicked and dragged that text box, you can start typing away. There you go. I'm just going to type in the word heading. Then I'm put in some body text. Any sort of nonsense will do for the, wire, uh, for the moment. We're just getting used to the idea of working in text box. I'm going to copy this and yeah, I'm going to show you edit and copy, but of course you can do this with control C and to paste it, you can use control V. I just want to get a little bit of text in there and then we'll play with it a bit. Show you how to change font and size and alignment. There we go. Just pasting it in control V really. Okay, now click on the heading and center align it. See towards the top left, you can click on that paragraph mark to bring up uh, the alignment section to the left. Some of you might have it on the right hand side of your screen, but some of you won't. So just click that there and you can see I've center aligned it now. I'm going to change the font itself and the size. And you do this in a slightly different way to Microsoft Word. First of all, okay, you choose the font, but see how you choose the style as well. It's not just Control B and then I've changed the size. So there are some basic controls there. I'm going to play a little bit with the body text. Going back on to the paragraph mark, I'm going to align it in slightly different ways. That's full justification and that's less that's justified with the last line left aligned. So that's slightly different to Word. And that's the type of alignment you'd use for body text typically in books. Here I'm going to page two. I double clicked on page two in the pages palette. And then I've clicked on the rectangle with a cross on it, which is the rectangle frame tool. I've clicked and dragged it. And now I'm using file place. Uh, and I'm going to use that to find where I've got the image that I want to import. Just click open. Uh, will import into that picture box. Doesn't quite fit properly, so right click and then find fitting and fit, fit content proportionally. So right click is the key to doing that. Double click on page three. Now I'm going to put in a colored shape. If you click on that rectangle without the cross and hold it down, hold it down, you'll get the ellipsis tool or the, sorry, the ellipse tool. I kept saying ellipsis like a punctuation mark. Hold and shift while you click and drag if you want to get a perfect circle. Then we're going to put some color in it by clicking on swatches and then any color you like. And then bang, it's full of color. And if you can't see that swatches palette, go via the window color swatches menu. And you can just minimize that when you're ready. You go to the pages palette, double click on page four. Now I want you to recap what we've done fairly quickly. Click on the type tool, click and drag a text box, create some text. We're just putting in a bit of nonsense here. Uh, so we're going to overlay a picture and a colored shape, and then we're going to put them one on top of the other and see how they're arranged. Uh, so I've made that a little bit too big there. I'm going to make it a bit smaller, but this is good practice to show you how quickly and easy quick and easy it is to adjust the text size. Notice that little red square in the box when um, not everything's showing. It's got a cross. Now I'm going to the picture box again, or the rectangle frame tool is, is, is its official name, and then file and place as we did before. I'm going to go and get that image once again, and right click fitting and fit content proportionally. And to revise quickly, go to that ellipse tool, Hold down shift to grab the circle, click on swatches, put in a bit of color, the old color this time yellow, yellow. And um, now go to arrange and send things backwards and forwards. And you'll see now that you can see the picture. I'm going to send it right to the back. And um, then if you want to move around the boxes, 
uh, you can do that fairly easily too. Now I'm going to save it. Uh, easy enough to do file save like most programs. Give it some sort of memorable title. <laughs> and stick it away in your folder and they are the basic operations of InDesign. I hope you found that relatively easy to do and you're on your way now towards producing a professionally published book.